tell me a scary story, but not too scary, by Carl Rayner. Before we begin, I hope you like the story, but if it gets too scary for you, just say, stop reading, and I'll stop because I love you very much. You know, when I was a boy, I lived in this neighborhood. A tall man moved into the house next door. I introduced myself, and he smiled and said his name was John Niwala. I like people who smile, but I didn't like Mr. Niwala's smile. It was a crooked, mysterious smile. This isn't too scary for you, is it? I didn't think so. I'll go on. I stood behind a tree and watched him carry a large box into his house. Something shiny fell out and rolled across the street. It stopped at my feet. I picked it up, shoved it in my pocket, and ran home. I couldn't wait to see what it was. It was a marble. A strange marble. I stared at it, and it stared back at me. I was a little scared. Well, not a little scared. I was very scared. I knew I would never fall asleep until I returned it. So, that night, at midnight, I got out of bed, dressed, and went over to Mr. Niwala's house. The house was dark, except for a small light coming from the basement. I knelt down and looked in. I saw something covered with a cloth. It looked like something really creepy, so I shut my eyes. Is it getting too scary for you? Should I keep going? Okay, if you say so. I leaned in closer, but before I knew it, the window flew off its hinge, and I fell inside. Slowly, I opened my eyes, and there, on a chair, was that creepy thing covered with a cloth. I wanted to get out of there. Before I could get out, there was a voice behind me. What are you doing here? I turned and saw the smiling John Niwala. I... I was looking to see if you were home, I stuttered. I'm your neighbor. We met earlier. Yes, he said suspiciously. So why are you here now? Don't you know never to go into a stranger's house alone? I know. My mom and dad told me that. I came to return this, I said, handing him the marble. He looked at the staring marble, and then he stared at me. It's, uh, a very interesting marble, I said. Indeed, he said, smiling his crooked smile. I have many interesting things. Would you like to see them, he asked. Is it getting too scary for you, or should I keep going? Okay, if you say so. Be very careful, Mr. Niwala said, smiling that smile. The stairs are steep. I wouldn't want you to tumble down. He gave me a look that sent shivers down my spine. He took my arm, and I grabbed the railing. The stairs creaked, and the light Dimmer and dimmer. Mr. Niwala led me to his work table. Then he turned on a light. There, on the work table, were hundreds of staring marbles, all staring directly at me. I felt like I was being watched by hundreds of cold, dead eyes. Do they look familiar? he asked. Before I could answer, he grabbed two of the marbles. Then he picked up something weird from under the black cloth and ran up the stairs. Don't move, he shouted. There's someone I want you to meet. He laughed maniacally and slammed the door shut. I was trapped. Suddenly, light went out. I heard a door creak, and then strange, scary noises came out of the dark. Something with red beams of light shooting from its eyes was coming down the basement stairs. It came closer and closer 
The hair on the backs of my neck was sticking straight out. I finally saw it, and it was alive. I can't describe this awful monster except to say that it looked exactly like, like the picture on the next page. Shall we turn the page, or is it too scary? Okay, if that's what you want. Are you scared? The creature asked. Yes, I screamed as I ran to the stairs. Don't you have a question for me? The creature said, moving toward me. Yes, I said. What have you done with Mr. Niwala? I ate him, the creature laughed. He's inside of me. Would you like to see him? No, I yelled and ran up the stairs as fast as I could. The door was locked. I threw myself against it, but it didn't budge. Stay, the creature commanded. Turn around and see what I have done to your neighbor, Mr. Niwala. I turned and saw the monster grab his head and twist it. He struggled hard. He grunted. He groaned. It looked like he was trying to pull his head off. Yeech! I pounded on the door and yelled, Help! Help! Stay, he screamed, and started up the stairs. I couldn't breathe. Is it getting too scary for you? Or should I keep going? Okay, if you say so. The monster came closer and closer. Get me out of here, he shouted. No, I shouted back, pounding the door. I'm getting me out of here. No, the monster yelled, tugging at his neck. You must help me. What? I asked. This monster sounded strangely familiar now. Unstick this darn zipper, he screamed. So I grabbed the monster's head and gave a frantic pull on the zipper. And there, as the head split open, it was Mr. Niwala, safe and sound. It was just a costume. I scared you, didn't I? he asked. I feel silly, I laughed, weak with relief. Scaring people is what I do for a living, he said. Would you like to see my secret workshop? Isn't this it? I asked. No, he said. Come on. Be careful, he warned, smiling his crooked smile as I took my first step. He hit my shoulder and shouted, Hey! I screamed and went tumbling down, down, down. I landed hard on my bottom. Mr. Niwala came running at me. Don't come one step closer, I yelled, raising my fist. You pushed me. I tapped you, he explained, to tell you that your shoelace was untied. It was. I had tripped on my shoelace. Mr. Niwala laughed and let me put on one of the really scary monster costumes he made for a new horror movie. Wait till you see this monster. It'll give you nightmares forever. If you're too scared to look at this horrific monster, don't turn the page. If you're not too scared, turn the page. Should I keep going? Okay. Boo! I scared Mr. Niwala. We both laughed. He let me keep the costume on and walked me back home so I could frighten my mom and dad. Boy, were they scared. <laughs> Say, were you wondering if Niwala was Mr. Niwala's real name? I did too, so I asked him. Mr. Niwala smiled and said, I thought a smart person like you would have figured out that Niwala is Halloween spelled backward. Mr. Halloween, I said laughing. I guess I'm not that smart. But you are. <laughs>